when you're going to do a bite wing uh, radiograph, you do it for the premolars in a single film and for the molars in another film. Don't mix between the two. You examine your area, you want to see it, and then you are going to introduce the film obliquely inside the oral cavity and then extend it backwards without uh, avoiding to touch anything. Once you reach the two premolars, you place, see, you flip, and then you place the bite wing tab exactly under the premolars, exactly under the premolars. So the two premolars now are in the center, see, and uh, the, uh, uh, the two premolars are covered here, and it will, the area uh, of coverage will be from the lateral or canine backwards to the mesial of the six. With this placed, see, always try to uh, get this relationship because this will be important in directing your vertical beam or vi vertical direction. Now, ask the patient, see, I'm supporting the film with my thumb on the area or on the teeth that I want to see, and then you ask the patient to close. See, when he starts to close, you watch this end of the film. If the patient starts to f bite with your finger, Take this away, see? And then you ask the patients what? I repeat again, see? There is no interference. Once it's all the way up, then you ask the patient to bite on the bite wing tap. And this is how it will appear or it will show finally. What you show of the film is only this small tab of the film. Look, see the two premolars are biting on the uh, on the tab. I will try to open again. See, when you open, sorry, it fell down. Again, I will repeat. Backwards, premolars in the middle. Put it on the upper jaw because it is fixed, and ask the patient to bite. See, what happens sometimes is that we overlook this. Uh, the uh, other end of the f uh, of the film, and then the patient, when the patient is going to bite, he's going to bite in a way so that uh, 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 he will see. So before biting, premolars in the middle. These are the two premolars biting on the tab. See, when I feel that there is, I'll just take it away, and then you will ask your patient to to uh, bite. Okay, and this is how it is. It should be looking uh, in the final position. From the canine backwards to the mesial of the six. Okay, now sometimes what can go wrong is that we. I always see this problem is that we bring the uh, bite wing tab too close to the buccal surface. See, this what happens, one, is that the patient bites on the film, and second, we try to take it out, and when, when we bite, this sometimes, the film will be pushed by the lingual surface or, of, or the lingual tissues, and it will detach from the, uh, from the holder, and then it will f f f fall down in the patient's cavity. So what I need to do, make sure that I will, to do it right, First, you put it in the middle. Second, you put it on the two premolars, okay? Put the tab, and then don't bring it so much to the buccal side. Try to push the film all the way down as, as, as much as this tab allows, okay? To the midline, so that you will free this space so that you will allow the patient to bite, okay? you will allow the patient to bite and avoid deta deta detachment of the, because this is not very tough, uh, uh, you know, it can come out easily. So, I will repeat now again. One, two premolars on the center of the tab. Two, see how it looks. And then you will ask your patient to bite. You will notice, see, there is no interference, and then the patient is biting all the way down, and you ask the patient to keep closing. 